What's up guys, it's Insanity here and today I'm going to be bringing you some drag races with the Sultan RS fully customised against other, you know, like popular race cars, supercars, sports cars, etc. And the Sultan are the, like the standard stock Sultan. So without further ado, let's begin. First up, it's the Sultan RS first the Banshee 900R. As you can see, the Sultan gets a much better acceleration, but the Banshee's top speed literally catches up to it so quickly and goes for the win by quite a while. And across the line. Next is the Zentorno. The Sultan innocently takes the lead and gains it just by a hair. The Zentorno is catching up, but the Sultan. Sultan's starting to pull away now until they cross the finish line. The Sultan wins. Next is the Zen. Sorry. Next is the T20. And obviously, as you can imagine, since the T20 is supposedly the fastest car in the game, it's going to pummel it. But it's, it's, it's quite surprising how little the distance is, considering that one's. A rally car and one's a supercar. Next is the Turismo, and this I, I actually thought the Turismo would win personally, but apparently not. And also we got Josh in a Hydra for some apparent reason because he's a badass like that. He don't care what the crowds think. <laughs> and Turismo just pulls back, but Turismo manages to win that somehow. I wasn't expecting that. Next up we've got the Adder. And since the Adder is based off the Veyron, you'd think it would win, so let's see where this starts heading. Of course the Adder's not known for its fast acceleration, but its top speed uh, wins that one. We've got the standard Sultan now. Obviously the Sultan RS is going to be faster, but it's just to give you an idea of how much faster, whether it's spending the 1.3 million it is to fully customise it. And obviously, speed-wise, it's definitely to say it's definitely fair to say there's a great increase there. Next, we've got the Masakura race car, and it instantly takes the lead and pulls away. But that's for its fast acceleration. As for its speed, let's see. And of course, it maintains the high speed throughout. Last but not least, we've got the Coquet, and the Sultan leaves it in its tracks. Absolutely demolishes it. The beginning, and seems to be gaining distance as well. So, just to recap, uh, Banshee won, Zentorno lost, T21, Trismo lost, Ada won, Standard Sultan lost, Coquet lost. And in total, it won four out of seven of the races, meaning it's 57.1% as effective. Thanks for watching.